yeah. the students are going to go through uh, some tech courses, you know, in which they're going to they're going to take courses from EPFL profs who are going to tell them about uh, robotics and what it could do, or again, artificial intelligence or you know, digital technologies. And then basically the the, ne the next period they will they will speak with Matthias Tunig, who is going to teach a big course about economic systems and um, you know why the system that we have right now has emerged and why potentially you know we could go towards a different systems and what kind of parameters we need to be able we need to be able to handle and solve and so on to to get there. Uh, and then there will be another course on uh, business ethics by Guido Palazzo on basically wow. okay so ethically what does it mean so. We really want to basically shake the tree and... Um... You, you have top scholars teaching you with this synergy. You have something that's kind of unique. And at the core of this, really, the thing that drives everything is, is relevance. You want to cr create, give knowledge that's relevant and that they can apply in, in real life situation for the world of tomorrow. So then you have And what is it about? What is it, uh, again, the core and the specificity of this new master at, at E4S? Right. So this new cohort will start in 2021, September 2021. So yes, I mean, you know, I talked about the research pillar. I talked about the startup innovation pillar, if you will. Uh, there's, of course, a third pillar that is completely key to what we're trying to do. And this third pillar is uh, is it the education or the training, right? We need to, if we come up with good stuff, we actually need to train and, and with good ideas about how the world is going to be and what is going to be important that, in that world and, the, uh, and how we answer some of those challenges. We also need to train you know the future generation of students um, uh, uh, on that right and and we need we need to we need to give them the the right training for this we need to involve them also in the thinking about all of this and so this is why very very quickly very early on when we had started having this discussion with epfl and imd we we started thinking about uh, a program right and um, and 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 clearly you know it, it came up very quickly that it had to be a a, a master program for you know basically non-experienced students if you will right so who are the students who are this new generation that is really going to bring up change um, and that this should be jointly delivered by the three institutions uh, so with prof, profs working together from the from the three institution on the three campuses and with a very interdisciplinary approach right and so this is what this program is going to be this two master as you said i mean you know we're very happy because uh, you know i mean it's not easy by the way to actually put together a program like that you know to have a joint regulation across three different institutions with of course their own DNA, right, and their own set of rules and all of that. So it, it took us actually quite a bit of time. And, you know, this is what interdisciplinary is about, right? I mean, it, it can, yes. it can um, you can, you can reach big, big things, right? And you can achieve big things, I think, and very important ones, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. And so, so we went through that. And so, uh, you know, a, a few days ago, we actually had the authorization to really that oh. everything was was okay regulation wise, and that we could start it, we could start communicate about the program and and also op open, you know, the 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 admission process and, and all of this. One of the very important specificity of this program, from that point of view, is that it's going to take both uh, 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 engineering students or art science students from schools like epfl not only epfl you know of course it's uh, it will be taught in english and so it will be mm -hmm. it will be open to the to the to the world uh and to the outside world and uh, uh students from economics and management again could be students from hec lausanne of course but it could be students from you know from elsewhere as well and so and we're going to try to construct the whole pedagogy around right um, uh, teams of students that will be basically uh, inter interdisciplinary teams with uh, engineer you know uh, helping maybe probably you know uh, uh, econ and management students on the technology part you know what it means you know what can we do and so on and so forth and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, management in economic students helping the engineers about okay what can we do with it uh, what what how, how can we market that you know how, how can we really make that these new technologies would be launched yeah. would be financed have impacts and uh, uh, so this is the, 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 the type of thing that we want to do which and which we think is going to make this uh, 
um, uh, this program very, very unique. Um, uh, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, actually, I, I don't think that we mentioned the name of this program, right? So uh, mm -hmm. the program is going to be um, the name of this program is, is um, a master in uh, um, uh, in sustainable management and technologies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And so again, you see that it's, you have the word sustainability. So again, that's about uh, you know solving some of these of these challenges that we're talking about. I mean, we we need to find a way to build up. Probably a more sustainable economy and a and a more and more sustainable business model, more sustainable governance structures, and and we believe that part of the answer is going to be not all, but part of the answer is going to be in the new technologies and how uh, these new digital technologies, artificial intelligence, robotics, and so on, uh, are going to help us uh, build up you know more efficient energy system, transportation system is going to reshape you know cities and 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 the organization of economic lives so that we can find right these new sustainable models so mm -hmm. i think it's actually all of this is fascinating wow. and very very exciting yeah. and i hope that uh, the students will follow <laughs> I, I, I would have done that uh, I, 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 no really I, I think it's super exciting as you were shaping the program i was thinking about myself before the master and i was exactly willing to to go in that direction in the sense wanting to really to contribute to the world with with applied things but at the same time i really like the the, the math that we, I, i've been taught at, uh, at in the economics uh, faculty where it's it's really quantitative really technical and, and so it's it's really fascinating and again i think you you created something that's that's unique but so important you have right. different people with different backgrounds way of expressing themselves conception of the world even and then you put that together and it can only be enriching I, i'm quite sure so yeah. so 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 really i i think when for example I, i'm working on conflict but as a an academic researcher my brother is is a, a, uh discuss peace treaties uh, in in conflict zone so we we share the same topic but with really we are at the opposite end of the spectrum he's going there to speak specifically with one person when he knows all the background everything and i just look and stand in my office there behind the computer and see or kind of understand the big picture with numbers and i think every time we speak if you see the world completely different than me but the back and forth is super useful and i think that's exactly also what what's the synergy that will be created there you have people yeah. who have really technical knowledge of technology you have those with the understanding of economics more than on the research side you have those with really applied knowledge of business and, and management and you put all those people together that should learn early to how to communicate so that's you know, that that's fascinating and, and really promising really, yeah, really no, uh, <laughs> I, I think it's going to be it's going to be great you know i mean if you look at the first semester of this program yeah. the students are going to go through uh, some tech courses you know in which they're going to they're going to take courses from epfl profs who are going to tell them about uh, robotics and what it could do or again artificial oh. intelligence or you know digital technologies and then basically the the, ne the next period they will they will speak with Matthias Tunig who is going to teach a big wow. course about economic systems and um, you know why the system that we have right now has emerged and why potentially you know we could go towards a different systems and what kind of parameters we need to be able we need to be able to handle and solve and so on to to get there uh, and then there will be another course on uh, business ethics by Guido Palazzo on basically wow. okay so ethically what does it mean so we we really want to basically shake the tree and um, and shake the students a little bit by you know exposing them to all, all these different kinds of things uh trying within the courses to have you know to to consider things you know in an interdisciplinary way but i think that a lot of the interdisciplinarity in the end is going to come in if if you will in the hand in the, in the heads of the students in the brain yeah. of the students yeah. right and uh, uh, where these connections are going to take place and um, and where you know i hope we hope some of the uh, both the technological but also the the, the social and uh, and business innovations are going to come as well mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, and with the name you mentioned, it made me realize basically you have three top institutions in the world and you take to, you concentrate even the top among the top within those institutions to give you the class. So they have really a, a, a very dense uh, access to really top knowledge with fascinating people that you mentioned that I, I really 
really love to hear and and uh, no really that's uh, i would love to follow the class <laughs> i have to admit the more you say the more i would like to be there yeah we'll have to see you know maybe if it works we'll, we'll make some of these uh, classes digital and then i don't know maybe we will open them to the world i mean this is something that we have not discussed yet but uh, but why not why not uh, uh open things because at the end of the day you know it uh, when we were talking about training and diffusing, it's not going to be only for, you know, these group of students. Uh, we need to find a way for E4S to have impact to actually uh, train more broadly, right? So this is something that we, we need to discuss with our partners, how we're going to do that. But again, I think that we really need to, to consider this and, mm -hmm. and think about how this could be done. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, I think there are universities sharing uh, classes. And I, and I think once the the cost is already paid by the institution uh, to to put the, the 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 class in place the teacher coming and explaining and when again when you with the few names you mentioned with those people who has tremendous knowledge who are fascinated uh, fascinating uh, i think sharing with the world with people who maybe don't have the opportunity to go in lausanne to learn this but to to benefit from this knowledge i think it, it can be only winning winning proposition because in the end the one going in the master will benefit from the whole as you said ecosystem you have the whole structure but you can also benefit from outside just picking what you are interested in and without entering in a competition so so i think that's also a, that's also something that I, I think about education i mean through my channel i have many people contacting me who are from uh, from uh, the developing world to, to make it simple and i think it's always and I see the difference, and I think making knowledge easily accessible to there is it, it, really also a, a big mission we, we could share. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yes, yes, some hundred uh, percent. A very tricky question that, that you see, uh, uh, as you, you want to you wanna answer, but I and I think it, it's tricky in the sense with something new, it's sometimes difficult to answer to what's and, and so what's uh, afterwards after the master. So that's basically the question I know as a <laughs> Uh, exchanging a lot with students I, as before i was a student representative uh, many discussion about economics it's always a discussion with economics with the master in economics it's really the students care a lot about job markets mm -hmm. so so and, and we see with with some of the master where the the future is very clear they know that if they go in accounting they go in those for uh, company yeah. they really like that because it's reassuring and then they go in economics they, they don't have a clear uh results but actually the hiring rate is one of the the highest among the faculties so so you find a job but sometimes it's a bit they are a bit scared because they don't see themselves and i think and, and that's the, the the question after this it's long turn it's it's really what do you think as of today of course as of today beginning before the first uh, uh year where what will be the future of those those master students? Will they go in PhDs also, or, or not at all, and really focused in? Uh, so, what do you think? So, so I think it's completely wide open. I hope that some of them will go in PhDs, but you know. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we need to remember that we, I mean, we, we cannot have only PhD students. So yes, we, in sure. a way we have, we have even good working conditions and so on for only a few of them, right? So I, I don't think that, you know, in this master, it's gonna be the main purpose. I think most of the students are gonna go, um, are gonna work uh, in the private sector or potentially even in, in government agencies, yes. you know, that, that are working on these kind of changes that I was talking about. But, you know, um, uh, I, think, I think essentially the the my view at, the, at this point is that uh, it's really wide open for these students why because i think that you know as we go um, and as you know uh, our economies are changing and so on there's going to be more and more appetite for this uh, for this type of training and in fact we we see that this is the case already so i cannot give names but you know um, when we when we started communicating about the fact that we were going to do this type of uh, this, this new program uh, many companies contacted us and said, "Well, we would like to. We would like to be part of this. We would like to, to, to speak to the students. We would like to. Um, we some companies actually have, are, are going to sponsor us uh, potentially up to a certain, you know, uh, up to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, the the, the there's a, there, what I mean by that that there's real interest by large companies." It can be industrial companies, it can be consulting firms, uh, uh, and, and of course we know that, you know, uh, and we hope that, you know, there will be also some of these students who will go into their own, uh, you know, kind of entrepreneurship venture, will go into the, the, the startup mode because 
that's also one of the purpose is to actually change what is going on and to bring in some innovation. So my view is that you know the 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 range of opportunities for the students who are training, uh, in particular also because you know I mean having good institutions on uh, on your on your diploma uh, certainly helps a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, that there's going to be a, a, a great a, a, I mean there's going to be a world of opportunities for these guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm actually not worried at all about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, of course, a bit outside, you have a better knowledge of this, but I, I totally share your view. Maybe it's a bit ambitious to giving my, my opinion on that, but, but, but I agree. And I think it may, really made me think about the, the master in, in economics at HSC Lausanne. People went in very di different di directions. The people I had in class with me were really all really quickly hired and really in sectors and doing things that they really fascinated about it could be uh, in the, in the public sector with uh, as you said uh, public agencies but as well in the private sector really doing uh, uh, stuff that they were fascinated about and i think that's i would be i totally share your view you have top scholars teaching you with this synergy you have something that's kind of unique and, and 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 hence you have less competition with exactly what you you have in your hands and i and i think that's a very good recipe to to success to a successful professional life and at the core of this really the thing that drives everything is is relevant you want to cr create give knowledge that's relevant and that they can apply in, in real life situation for the world of tomorrow so i can hardly see why why it will not be a, a, a very good line on your cv or, or preparation so so again really really excited to see where this leads i know that already students asked me uh, uh, last semester what about the the master at the time i didn't know it was going to happen now i i'm, I'm super excited that I, that I, i've learned all this uh, now. Would, would you like to to add something else about this uh, this project uh, or a call uh, of action to to future students or to the, the society? No, I mean what what I hope is that um, is that uh, you know is that everybody is going to follow not only the you know the students in the program but also uh, companies, policymakers, you know that are going to see why it could be it could make a difference. At least, you know, in the in the western part of Switzerland, and also companies, you know, potentially helping us because, you know, we are doing that. Uh, we we cannot finance this project only based on um, on on pure you know university and and public money. It it's actually uh, I mean we we're going to look for you know uh, extra resources from also the the, the private sector uh, uh, in in particular. And and I think it's actually it's not only. Uh, it, it's not only a matter of money; it's a matter of so of um, of these companies potentially making a commitment, right, to actually come work with us on this, right? And uh, mm -hmm. and so uh, so so we again, you know, deep down, I really think that what we are doing is that we are trying to create a very rich ecosystem, uh, mm -hmm. something that is going to actually potentially carry, you know, the, the 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 western part of Switzerland, you know, much higher than it is before. I think we have everything here as both an in innovation industrial hub to actually um, make really really good things happen. And so so I mean, as you as you can see, I mean, beyond beyond our universities or our own institutions i mean we have very very high hopes uh, for for this e4s uh, center to have a really a big impact